So one of my first project commissioned by the city mayor was the shipyard park in Zhongshan City in Guangdong province. It was a brownfield, of course. It was a shipyard. It was in the center of the city. It is the first contemporary design, one of the first, I would say the first in China, is contemporary design that introduced the idea of park as part of the city instead of as a garden enclosed the park. It has no fence, it's all access to it, integrated urban fabric. We introduced water, let water go into it. We saw the flood wall. We let the water table fluctuating following the tide. We also protect the trees, as the banyan trees, as about 21 banyan trees. We instead of cut down to allow the city a hydrological engineer to widen the street, we actually protect the, street, uh, the trees to turn them into an island. And also we use the native habitats. And we also create a resilient floodable riverbank and a floodable lake shore so that the native grass, the native vegetation can take over. Meanwhile, we interpret these industrial structures. It used to be a shipyard, hire about 500 people. It's a small factory in, in the Chinese standard, but it certainly has a value. So, you know, 1950s, it went all through this old Chinese red past. Uh, it can easily be erased. I was invited to erase the, the, the old shipyard and build a modern park. Uh, but instead of doing that, I actually keep the industrial structure, the cultural heritage, the docks, the factory buildings, even the chimneys. So it really becomes the first project in China as a respecting the past. So, and as the past is not as uh, 5,000 years, 2,000 years, you know, 100 years uh, history, but it's, a, it's just a three decades history. But this history is also so important in, in China and be ignored. So that's one aspect of this park. I call this a, an ordinary people's culture. So it is a, a part of a new aesthetics and also a new as, aesthetics in terms of my own culture's tradition, the Chinese traditional classical garden. As the Chinese classical garden always talking about the meandering road, the, the pavilions, and the peonias. The, so this park, I try to define a new, uh, create a new language of you know, design. is a more contemporary design. You will see the straight road, the, the very, very contemporary design that the road will connect directly to the, to the street, to the, to, the, to the city. So it is people's park for everyday use. It's not for the elite wandering in this, you know, this uh, scholar's garden among the rockery, but it is every day's park for people to use for jogging, for exercising, for, for playing Tai Chi. You will see from morning to evening all different kinds of people use this park in a different way. In the day, you will uh, mothers taking care of a kid, in the rolling chair at the evening, you will see the young couples enjoy the breeze in the park. So it is a park for everyone, for everybody, every time, all day long. So it is a new aesthetic garden with, environ with environmental ethics, with cultural heritage in mind, and with people in mind.